Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. As you know, I'm just catching up on some videos. So I made this carriage diaper cake about a year and a half ago for my coworker. It is woodland animal theme. So first I'm just gonna start off with the basics. I'm grabbing an eight inch cake form and putting 10 diapers in there and then just wrapping everything with a rubber band. And I'm just sorting it out just to make sure everything's even. So you'll need a total of four wheels. So 40 diapers. And I will actually have everything listed in the description box, all the supplies. Up next, you just need two regular paper towel rolls. I just rolled up two diapers, one on each end, just to give some stability to the paper towel roll. And then I'm using this receiving blanket from Amazon. If the items aren't available because this video is older, I would definitely link something similar. Now I'm actually just working on the body of the carriage. So you will need a total of uh, 24 carriage body like circles that you see. So that's a total of 48. And then around the actual carriage cover is four additional diapers. So eight of those. So four around the perimeter and then 24 around the body. So that's a total of 56 altogether. And just a lot of romance. Now I'm just folding over the receiving blanket and just making sure it's tight. And you're basically gonna tie it up like a piece of candy. You wanna just make sure that it's very tight and it's not going anywhere. I will also be editing the actual card that goes with this carriage. So now I just went ahead and just folded up against each other and then got another band to cover that. That will also serve as you'll see um, a way to attach the kind of spokes for the wheel. So I'm just making sure everything's on tight. And then for the actual wheel spokes, I didn't really like the paper towel, so I just got a 12 by 12, one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and just cut it in half. And then I'm just gluing this. This is purely optional. It's just more to give it a finished look. You don't have to do it. Now I'm just grabbing a ribbon and you can pick whatever color you want and depending on your theme. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue that onto the wheels. It's also the same thing, just to kind of give it that finished look and to basically hide the rubber band. I did want to quickly point out my heat gun actually does have two settings, a low and a high. So when I'm using it on fabric, I do tend to use it on the low setting. Just moving on to the carriage cover. So I'm using this crib sheet and four diapers, eight in total, four on each side, and then just rubber banding that. And then I'm gonna grab one onesie. So of course I picked this cute fox one since her theme is woodland animals. And even the crib sheet, as you see, is also a fox one. And then you're just gonna tuck it in very tightly into that little package that I kind of made the carriage cover. And then we're grabbing another onesie. I was actually trying to figure out how I wanted to add this in. And ultimately, first I started off with the flat fold and then ultimately I ended up just opening it back up and tucking it just all the way in with the rubber band as you'll see the adjustment. There's a lot of videos out there on how to do this. And honestly, I don't think there's a right or wrong way. Just kind of figure it out, play with it and see what works for you and just have fun with it. Something I do may not work for you and something someone does may not work for me. So I'm always just kind of fussing around. So now I just grabbed some green ribbon to go ahead and tie around the baby carriage body. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing for the top part, of course, just to hide it. I know the top portion, you will actually see that. So same thing, I'm just matching. See, it's kind of little woodland trees. So I got these this cute, green ribbon and um, the back side this part here is you can just leave it ugly I originally was gonna bow and then I was like why am, why am I doing that no one's gonna see it so 
um, I went ahead and just trimmed it out and then just trimmed down the ribbon as well as you'll see. is what I was talking about how you're gonna attach the spoke to the wheels and then I just realized because I was messing around with it that wait I need to just stick these on first before putting the wheels on so I played around with this this is the second attempt um, I found that it was easier to go ahead and just wrap the ribbon four times across the other green ribbon and that was the best way for me to kind of get it where they had some separation. I had it a different way and I'm not going to show you because it doesn't work. Um, but this is the way that I found that helped out a lot. And now we're going to go ahead and of course attach the wheels. See what I kind of mentioned about you won't really see the paper towel. So you don't have to do that extra step. All right. Switching positions so you can see the rest of the assembly. So this is how it's going to look like so far, front, back, side. So now we're going to go ahead and put the carriage top. And I'm going to grab another receiving blanket and we're just going to fold it three times. I just want to make sure it was even three times. And then I'm going to just put it on top. And what I didn't film, I didn't realize I didn't catch it. I just tucked it underneath. Nothing special to it right there I just tucked it underneath what's gonna hold is actually can be another ribbon so you don't have to worry too much about that and I went ahead and grabbed another receiving blanket to cover the first one and then I had gotten this ribbon that kind of matches that wood grain so that's kind of one that's in the tip too you know if you want to try to hide some stuff get this kind of same ribbon colors and so I just basically tied it around twice so that basically finishes that carriage. And up next, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, of course, is to add in the details. So I'm gonna add in some mitts for her and then a little stuffed plushy fox. I also went ahead and just covered it with some cellophane and a ribbon. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see more, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.